New at 10 o'clock, the grand opening of Colorado Mesa University's on-campus hotel and latest training facility was supposed to happen this week. But the COVID-19 pandemic put a hold on those plans. Carrie X5 got the exclusive first look. And our Shelby Bracho spoke with the president of CMU and a 2019 hospitality graduate to find out more about the program and the impact of this delay. When you're actually in you know, a work setting and applying that knowledge is, is, you know, it's invaluable. CMU hospitality graduate Kaylee Vogel says Hotel Maverick was designed to provide an upscale experience for guests. It's a boutique hotel. There's only about 60 rooms and they're aiming for a four star hotel. And so that'll be the first of its kind here in Grand Junction, which is really exciting uh, for the community. The facility will provide internships, plus students in culinary programs will learn and work inside. Being able to go to, you know, the Hotel Mavericks restaurant and, you know, have your server be a CMU student really kind of shows the community what CMU is doing and and what they're teaching their students. Hotel Maverick can even provide opportunities for business and marketing students. It's exciting to know that, you know, it's going to be a marketing tool for the hospitality program and CMU specifically. You know, they're really going to be able to use their knowledge that they're learning in the classrooms, you know, at the hotel. And there's a silver lining in this unexpected delay. That's according to CMU President Tim Foster. Given the staff and our contractor time, take a breath and really make sure that when we open, we open on our best foot. And Kaylee says students can learn from this. It's kind of, you know, teaching the students real world and, and teaching them how to be adaptable and be flexible because that's going to be their whole career is especially in hospitality. Um, you have to be flexible no matter what. First on the Western Slope, Shelby Bracho, KREX 5 News. President Foster says the university is in no rush to host the grand opening and will do so under the advisement of the local health department.